And Glenn, they call this a trust issue and that ultimately Mike Flynn did not have the trust of the president. It seems that they were pushed up in getting this uh, resignation because of uh, some reporting that came out from, from the New York Times, also from the Washington Post, that said the White House knew about this. Uh, is this a trust issue just internally or is it a leak issue that they got caught doing this? And at what point did they have an uh, obligation to the American public to say, hey, listen, uh, no, this is actually what happened with our national security advisor? I think the latter part. Look, I, I think that was a very sloppy, clearly hastily organized uh, time frame, uh, timeline that Sean Spicer came up with that, that has an awful lot of holes in it. Let me just point to a couple of factual issues here. First of all, we know from our reporting that the uh, Obama administration, uh, through various departments, had, had in its possession uh, some of these wiretaps for a while. The question that has not been answered is, was any of that information communicated to any of the Trump people at any point in time prior to that? The other thing that Spicer didn't address, even though he was asked about it, is the interaction between the president and Flynn. Did the president know and approve of what Flynn was doing? Spicer jumped over that. Another big contradiction. Spicer says they learned about uh, they learned about the, the existence of the transcript 17 days ago, but they were not able to determine that it was a breach of trust until now. Two minutes later, he said uh, McGahn in the counsel's office was almost, quote unquote, immediately able to determine there wasn't a legal issue. So then why, so then why did we have the 17 days? Uh, you know, and finally, and I think most importantly, the question is, uh, he said, Spicer said it was McGahn who determined that it was an issue of trust. He actually said that, that the counsel determined it was not a legal issue, but an issue of trust. White House counsels don't traffic in trust. They give legal opinions to presidents. So that is abrogating uh, some of that responsibility to the president. It is a very, very sloppy and implausible timeline. And I think it just begs a lot of questions and will require a lot of reporting. And one last thing. When Spicer comes on there and talks about leaks, it is entirely likely that General Flynn, who has done all of this stuff that is quite questionable and to some degree unprecedented, certainly in the early going, without any of those leaks, the public wouldn't have known about any of this stuff. And it is quite likely that Mr. Flynn would, would have remained in office. That they could have just been biding their time and hoping for the news cycle to pass, potentially. Uh, Casey right, Hunt. And, and, uh, yeah, sorry. go ahead, Glenn. Yeah, and Sean explicitly, I should say, and maybe it was an inartful use of language, actually said, quote unquote, we, he didn't say we want to cover up, but he said, this will help us, quote, cover it up. Uh, I mean, he actually said that from the podium. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.